don't need an onion for a little bit. If I could have an onion within the next hour, that'd be huge. Okay, I'll get you an onion. <laughs> you want a regular onion? I like. So keep this in your. Are shirt. you needing like a purple onion, or does it not really matter? An onion, my guy. I'll take any onion. Green okay. onion, white onion. I feel like I need sunglasses on. Here you go, buddy. Are you gonna get up there and sit too? Okay. Sit down. Good morning. My name is Dustin Afgar. This here is Cassie, my paragriffin. So uh, I never even heard of paramotoring before. Got kind of lucky, I was touring with Motor America. We're up in Washington State. So if you're up in Washington State and you're watching, watching this, maybe it was you that turned me on to this. So this dude came in, went over the racetrack, paramotored the whole racetrack, almost foot dragging it, came through the pits. And uh, by the time he was out of vision, I'd Googled to figure out what it was and uh, had already called Noah on the phone right off of Google, right through Epic Paramotor and signed right up immediately. The race team was like, what are you thinking? I mean, I can't believe you're going flying. You got to take care of these kids uh, and bikes. And it happened. It, it, it was no joke. I uh, it was one of the most exciting things ever. Um, it was August 24th, my birthday, and I saw the guy and I signed up for school. November 11th was my first fly date. So it was, uh, I wish I had seen it when I was 18. Like, yeah. it probably changed my whole career path. Um, wow, I mean, to go through, uh, to go through an eight day school and be flying on day three and, um, couldn't have been happier. Uh, the, the, the way Epic Paramotor School kind of like goes through everything. Um, Noah's very patient. I'm a lot to handle sometimes. I like to really get everything, uh, the most out of everything I can possibly do. Pretty adventurous person. I pushed myself pretty hard through school. I mean, I had 18 hours of flight time in school alone in, a, in an eight day course. Um, Here's my little Cassie girl. She's my paragriffin. So I roughly have somewhere, I don't know, almost 300 hours of flight time now. I mean, I fly every morning, every evening and I fly as much as I can possibly fly. I've flown in multiple different states. My Peregriffin here has 32 flights as of this morning. I love flying so much. I mean, I had to take my dog flying with me. The industry has kind of like absorbed me very nice. I, 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 I can't thank it enough. Like the, it's amazing the people that are in the industry of how they can make sure. And the guys that uh, Epic Paramotor here, Nick and Noah, I mean, the amazing set of twins, what they were able to, to teach me to get out of school here to basically start learning was awesome. I mean, a few people from around, uh, like I say, like Scott Ritchie, uh, Chris Holberg, like Matt Minyard. I mean, like there's a lot of, you know, like I say, big name people in the industry. And again, I mean, I fly half an hour before the sun comes up and half an hour after the sun goes down every single day. Wake up and fly, sure. I guess I, I gave them enough motivation to even like uh, come up with a whole new slogan. I feel like it's completely changed my entire lifestyle. I've gone from all motorcycles and so absorbed in the motorcycle world and the stunt race pro level of every level of, of, of riding bikes that all of a sudden I, I don't want to say dropped it, but man, I holy cow just plunged myself into the paramotor flying scene where that's uh that's really I, I all I can think about. Um, I'll be working on a motorcycle or I'll be training some kids right now and man, I can't wait for the fly window to open up. It's been pretty wild. When I first started flying, I guess the main reason was I've always, since a kid, looked out that window going along and like, I feel like I could be that bird just soaring mountain top to mountain top and watching falcons is probably like one of my most favorite things to do in nature and 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 now all of a sudden to be able to soar with the falcons and fly with the birds and fly like a bird the most relaxing exhilarating adrenaline packed relaxing I know I said it twice but man I I it's good for the soul. It's it's one of the most healing things I could say I've done. And I say healing, it's, it blocks everything out in the world and it really just puts a smile on your face no matter what's really going on in life. That's probably the biggest, uh, one of the biggest things in the beginning is just getting comfortable with having that, that rush feel and being able to slow it down and control it. It's basically the same thing in, uh, in, in, in a motorcycle and road racing world. It's you have that rush and all of a sudden you're panicked and that's when things start getting overwhelmed and you would crash your motorcycle. And so my favorite part, I mean, send it at the ground. I don't want to say as fast as I can, but it's pretty fun to send it at the ground and control it right next to it. 
It's one of your more dangerous things is because the ground is the only part that's going to really stop you. So to each his own, my guy. <laughs> what was the question again? So once you get your feet wet and you, you dip that toe in the water of paramotor world, get, 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 get comfortable because that fish is going to come up and swallow you whole and you're going to the deep end. It, <laughs> it, it's pretty awesome. Cassie, we have uh, my dog is so good at flying right now. She has her own little technique to where getting up and she's very patient and she has her whole doggles and rec specs. My dog is the most excited dog. And next thing you know, you put her in her gear and I'm going to work, dad, let's go fly. And uh, fly every day, fly every day. Fly every day.